Hello and welcome to EMC Homebase. In this short video presentation we will demonstrate 1. The acquisition of the EMC Homebase server software from EMC Powerlink 2. Its installation and 3. Its basic configuration. On accessing Powerlink navigate to Support Software Downloads Downloads E2i and finally to the home base tab. Select the software for the server ensuring that you select either the appropriate 32 or 64 bit versions for the appropriate Windows or Linux platform onto which the home base server is to be installed and save it to a local directory. In this demonstration we will save the 32 bit Windows installer executable to the desktop of the host onto which the server is to be installed. From the desktop we may run the executable and the home base splash screen will appear. We see a welcome page indicating the software being installed and the default support preferences. Review and accept the end user license agreement. The default installation location is offered but this may be changed to reflect local policy. Information regarding the licensing of this server is now requested. The organization. Generally this is the company name owning the home base server. The location. Generally this is the geographic town or city in which the server is located. The unit. This may be the work or business unit responsible for the server administration. And finally, the country. A list of available countries is presented in a drop down list. Further information regarding this hierarchy is provided in the supporting documentation available also from Powerlink. When all selections have been made, click Next. In order to configure a secure channel between the home base agents and the home base server, we are now required to provide information regarding the server. A minimum of server address is necessary. Here we have entered the IP address of the NIC to which the profiles will be directed from the agents. Usually in a production environment it would be normal to specify the fully qualified domain name. A review of the installation is displayed and the installation is tracked to completion. Returning now to the desktop we can see that from the start menu all programs option an entry has been made for the EMC home base server software but the only options available are a command prompt and an uninstaller. This is normal as home base runs as a service. Let us select a command prompt. At the prompt issue HBS space dash dash version to indicate the installed version of the software and then issue HBS space SVC space status to indicate the status of the home base services. Note that there are two discrete services supporting the home base function. Now open an Internet Explorer window and browse to the IP address or fully qualified domain name of the home base server. A login screen is presented. By default the login credentials are admin and admin. The admin password should be changed at the earliest opportunity subject to local requirements. A newly installed home base server may be evaluated for up to 30 days without the need to apply for a production license by selecting the checkbox or alternatively you may follow the prompts to apply for a production license. The information you provided during the installation regarding the hierarchy is presented. 
The agent path indicates where the received profiles will be stored within the server's profile repository. The location of the profile repository may be changed following installation. At this point we will elect to evaluate. Let us now configure our newly installed home base server. A screen is presented to guide the installation engineer through the required steps of configuration. We will select the first item, configure server location, to configure the access points for users to browse to this server. This has been pre-populated from the information given during the installation. We need only confirm that this information is correct and once configured the box does not reappear on this page. The next box indicates that we are to complete the licensing process. Here you may download the license request file for forwarding to the EMC licensing authority as indicated. Once completed you may uncheck this box to remove from future display. Where multiple home base servers are being installed within the organization you may configure them to replicate profiles on a scheduled basis. Under the evaluation license applied to this server this facility is however not available. A box is provided to configure and enable channels used in the provisioning or deployment of a prepared and supported operating system either as a bare metal provisioning or BMP exercise or a bare metal recovery or BMR exercise. Please note that BMP is not a facility provided under the evaluation license of this home base server and a separately licensed function must be added subsequently. Under Software Repository, this box provides a capability for uploading and managing available supported operating systems for deployment. It also provides for uploading of driver software in support of target hardware, Linux and Unix packages, and installable software for use with bare metal provisioning. The location of the software repository may be changed after installation and configuration should this be required. All of the prompts presented during this wizard may be actioned or not at this stage and the display of future logins may be suppressed by unchecking the appropriate boxes. We now pass to the normal home base home page. From the start menu open a command prompt window. Issue HBS space lick space show to view the installation and validity of the in-use license. Issue HBS space SVC space restart to restart the installed home base services. Log back into the home base server which is now ready to receive profiles from licensed agents. The home base server has now been successfully installed and is ready to receive profiles from configured agents. In a further video in this series we will see how the home base server may be configured to exert control over a home base agent and also we will describe the processes required to make the home base server ready to perform server recoveries. Thank you for watching.